Hello guys, I'm back to continue the lecture. Just request kindly subscribe our channel. Um, you know, in case you haven't subscribed it yet, just hit the bell icon so that you are updated with all the new videos and you're updated with everything that's going on in this channel. Okay, so um, we were doing Pakistan Sri Lanka lessons learned, the, the lessons that they have learned together, and we discussed the very important line that is it it is unwise to ignore the lessons to be learned from Sri Lanka. And for Sri Lanka, it should be vice versa, right? So we discussed avoid defining economic realities, avoiding maintaining a fixed exchange rate, do not refuse to take IMF of support, and just give me a second. Try not to choose capital controls over loans. It will increase demand for US dollars. All these points have been covered well. And now let's move on to some of the next reasons that we have and to make sure that if anything is not clear to you, just write the comment. Alright, so again, the line is there. It is unwise to ignore the lessons to be learned from Sri Lanka. It's again a very important thing. Uh, you know, these pictures, they speak a lot for themselves as well. It will cause scarcity of essential goods. Demand for a good or service is greater than the availability of the good or service. Havoc in society, great confusion and disorder, availability of goods is low. Now, this is very crucial topic. Many of us, you might not know the uh, meaning of what scarcity is. So, once we talk about scarcity, when the demand of something is more than the, uh, you know, the actual output or basically the availability is less, but the demand is more. That uh, is, a, is a term that is known as scarcity, that you need more, but you don't have more. Let's take a simple example of, for example, um, you know, water. So, water scarcity is what? The demand for water is more, but the available water is less. So, that leads to this term that is called scarcity. So, this is one thing. So, if they're not going to learn lessons from each other, you can see the pictures which shows people struggling for basic necessities of life. People are being shown very, you know, in poverty situations and they're being shown as poor right now. And if you can see... That if they're not going to learn the uh, lessons from each other, Pakistan and Sri Lanka is gonna not is not gonna listen to each other in terms of lessons. What will happen? What will happen is that they have to struggle for the basic necessities of life. They have to live in scarcity. They have to, you know, there's absolutely nothing that they can do about it. If they're not learning, if they're not ready to learn from their mistakes, if they're not ready to learn from each other, then what is that person doing? What, sorry, that country doing what I'm not doing in as the you know, uh, head of Pakistan or something like that. I'm not pointing fingers at anyone, but I'm just giving you an example generally. So it's very important that, you know, uh, to understand, to basically recognize some of the help that these lessons can give you. Otherwise, it will simply cause scarcity of essential goods. Havoc, basically, uh, you know, many of you, many of you people might understand this term already, but there might be some people who don't understand what basically a havoc situation is. So havoc, uh, if you talk about its meaning, it's a situation where, it's wide, where it is widespread destruction, right? Damage, devastation, and some sort of confusion going on. There's a disorder that is going on that you don't know what to do next. And, you know, people, they're fighting for the basic necessities of life. Uh, and, you know, there no, there's not availability of goods in, uh, in the area. Or you can say the, the availability of the goods is low overall, right? So that's the reason, that's the great confusion that comes, the disorder that comes due to this aspect. So this was something which was very crucial that I discussed with you. Um, you know, I'm going to move towards the next slide, but I just want to make sure that everyone got it. So basically, the other two reasons that we covered are that it will cause scarcity of essential goods. And the other very important reason is, if you're not going to learn, it will cause havoc in this society. Alright, so before moving ahead, I have a very important point to touch, alright, and that point is that whenever we're talking about lessons, it's not just to take lessons, it's always to give lessons as well. And why I'm forcing on these terms is because it says Pakistan and Sri Lanka. I don't want you people to, you know, think that it's, this is a topic that is just for Pakistan, it's just for Sri Lanka. I want you to understand that this is a unanimous and a mutual topic that has been given to you. It's a topic that shows you that, you know, you as a whole need to think over. You as a whole need to ponder over that what lessons Pakistan should learn from Sri Lanka and Pakistan and Sri Lanka should learn from Pakistan. So this is very important that term that I wanted to touch. Don't 
think it has a bias topic. Uh, it's for Pakistan, it's for Sri Lanka, it's for both. Moving on, again, I'm going to read it so that you just don't forget it. It is unwise to ignore the lessons to be learned from Sri Lanka. You can see the amount, uh, you know, in rupees as well, in dollars as well. Local currency plummets. Now, once we're talking about plummets, I'm going to tell you the definition for this one. And again, I believe that some of you might know that what plummet means. Plummets are basically a fall or drop straight down at high speed. So when the local currency it falls or drops at high speed, we call it a plummet, right? For example, when I say, let me give an example of a sentence. When I say a climber was killed when he plummeted 300 feet down an icy gully, right? So this is what plummet is. Plummet is to fall or drop straight down at high speed. So I'm going to relate it with this one. So it is unwise to ignore the lessons to be learned from Sri Lanka. And local currency plummets, currency falls in value compared to the other currencies. Easy monetary policy inflation can cause currency depreciation. Now, very important concepts. This is economics, right? I'm basically, we started with political subject where it's giving you great knowledge of, about the economy as well. That when we say local currency plummets, okay, we have defined that it's basically, uh, you know, falling or decreasing the exchange rate. That is one thing that we just discussed. But currency falls in value compared to other currencies. I gave you an example of uh, USD and Pakistan rupee. And the example is over here. Today, the rate is 1 PKR Pak rupee equals to 219 USD. What does that mean? That means that USD is 219 times richer, 219 percent more richer than 1 rupee. Right? So, currency, our currency is depreciating badly. It's the worst performing currencies. Its currency is falling in the value compared to the other currencies. Not just US but other ones. In Australian dollars as well. Alright. Easy monetary policy and inflation can cause currency depreciation. When we talk about easy monetary policy, it's when the money supply has been increased. When money supply increases, inflation rates increase. Right? When inflation increases, it causes currency depreciation. Because when you're just having so much uh, high prices, right and everything is going to be super expensive uh, in your country what will happen what will be the reason the reason will be that the prices will be so high it's going to be inflation and you won't be able to buy it with a lesser amount of money it's going to lead to currency depreciation that you need to learn oops just give me a second okay so moving on i'm going to discuss it again uh, some other uh, things with you before we are moving forward and then I'm going to give you an overview of the entire topic in the last five minutes so that everything is super clear and you're well aware of Pakistan and Sri Lanka lessons learned. So local currency again I told you that it's very important to protect your currency because currency is the main thing right while you're buying while you're dealing with other people in other countries one thing that is of crucial importance is the currency. You need to make sure that your currency is not worse performing. Your currency is a good performing currency. It's strong in value. It has strength. Strength to buy. This is what everyone should know that it has. It should have strength to buy. Because if it will not, not have strength to buy, what will be the reason? What will be the outcome? It's going to fall in currency. It's going to perform worsely. What will happen is that I have to pay much more amount to get a single thing. Right? If I want to get a cloth cloth for example from any uh, US store maybe Amazon just giving you an idea so maybe if I was about to take a mobile phone that was you know first cheaper according to my currency now I have to pay 30 times more money for that particular uh, you know thing why because any object because the currency my currency is appreciating devaluing day by day but the other country's currency is going up so they should learn this lesson that you know easy monetary policy is not good in such situations should be tight monetary policy because it leads to inflation and then it can cause currency depreciation all right so now one thing that i want to further clarify all these reasons they are not just limited to this right there are plenty of these reasons so you can't just say that you have these five reasons and you're good to go no you have many of them you have so many of them that you don't even you know, reckon that, um, you know, um, maybe you'll be able to put them together. I just try to put them together in a whole, you can say, an overview way that I wanted to cover all the main points, the points that will have the sub points as well involved in it. And that's how I try to do it for you people. So I hope this was helpful and you got to understand that what this basically means. 
so again repeating it for you in case you people forgot or anything like that we have discussed 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 reasons so far and i wish we were in a live lecture today and i could have just you know asked you questions regarding it so that it was more clear but just to give you an overview of the topic and the overview of the entire course we first discussed the Pakistan Sri Lanka's economic crisis we have discussed it in detail we know that how much you know in problem these people are and how much Sri Lanka and Pakistan is going through and in such scenarios as well if they're not going to learn from each other then they are the biggest losers to be honest because you know it's never bad to make mistakes everyone makes mistakes right in your daily lives as well in your you know political lives as well the only important thing that bothers me or the thing that basically annoys me is that one has to make sure they are learning from their mistakes this is super 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 important right okay moving on we went to just give me a second all right, we went to the uh, other problems, basically, you know, some of the very crucial topics that we had to do. These were the reasons and uh, we learned a very important thing that says it is unwise to ignore the lessons to be learned from Sri Lanka. So this is something which is already defined. This is something which is defined now that it will be foolish of a country like Pakistan not to take lessons from Sri Lanka. It will be foolish for Sri Lanka not to take lessons from Pakistan. So this was something of critical importance and that is why I just did these uh, points with you. So it was the first point is avoid defining economic realities. Just an overview that you know economic reality should be taken into account and not be forgotten because then this before the situation gets worse you can just handle the matter. Avoid maintaining fixed exchange rate because if you're going to have fixed exchange rate it's going to result in very high interest rates causing deflation in the economy. And then because interest rate and inflation are inversely related. This is another thing that we just, uh, you know, defined. Do not refuse to take IMF support because if you're going to refuse to take their support, no other country is going to come out to help you. And in these times, Pakistan needs the hell of a support from other countries, right? We're having such bad conditions. And even if you discuss it right now, while we're discussing it, Pakistan is the, having flood condition as well. Like they have economic problems, but they are having this natural disaster problems as well. See, there's no development, no drainage, nothing at all. And what's going on? People are dying, literally. They are homeless. Why is it happening? Ultimately, everything is related to the lack of development. So in certain situations, if you're not going to take loan, and, you know, it's going to affect you badly. Then we have... <laughs> just give me a second. Yeah, again, we're not going to forget that it's going to be foolish and unwise to ignore the lessons to be learned from Sri Lanka. And then we have another two points here. Try not to choose capital controls over loan because capital controls lead to evasion and corruption on a larger scale. Companies that want to take their money out of the country do so by corruption, right? They take money out of the country to other countries through their uh, other accounts and stuff like that through illegal means as well. So don't have capital controls that you cannot have the movement of in and out capital because they're going to they're gonna still do it with corrupted ways because we don't have the you can say uh, benchmarks or we don't have those diagnostics to understand where is corruption happening and we have bigger issues than that right now at the moment to take, you know to obviously corruption is a major issue but to take it dig in the hole right now it's very important to basically stop capital control then it will increase demand for us dollars uh, exports more than its imports economics of supply and demand dictate i already discussed this in detail as well all right, then we have, uh, it will cause scarcity of essential goods, basic necessities would be lost, havoc in the society, confusion, disorder, and then local currency plummets when the value is going to decrease at a higher speed and, you know, the monetary policy would be easy, inflation will cause further depreciation and your currency will be performing poorly. So all of these things will happen when? If Pakistan and Sri Lanka won't learn lessons from each other. If Pakistan is not going to learn lessons from Sri Lanka, this is what Pakistan is going to face, face, right? So this is absolutely very important. So guys, I'm just going to wrap up. It was a very interesting discussion, even though we were not in, um, you know, together. But I still was witnessing you people together with me because it was a great discussion. I'm sure you would love these topics because they're very informative. And again, as I say, I'm always there to help you with everything just you know have a conversation with me over email or over your uh, you know the channel thank you very much have a great day